hi guys welcome to my channel my pastel love how you guys doing today i recreated this ultra glam knit easy to do bengali makeup look for durga puja i hope you guys like it so i have already prepped and primed my face with moisturizer and i'm going to start off with my base so for foundation i'm gonna use the l'oreal infallible foundation this is in the shade caramel beige and i'm going to dot it all over my face using my fingers and spread it out and with help of a brush i'm going to start blending the foundation very nicely taking my own sweet time and this color matches me so well so whenever there's a big occasion i always go for this foundation and it's like a medium to full coverage and blends so nicely into my skin So I like to blend the foundation as evenly as possible so that there's no cakiness whatsoever and also don't forget your neck because you want your face and neck to look seamless and flawless. Next for concealer I'm going to take the sugar magic wand concealer and start putting very little under my eyes on the bridge of my nose. A little bit on the chin and also side of my lips basically wherever I feel like I have darkness and start blending it taking my pack concealer brush now this brush is so amazing for blending concealers you guys and i just like to dab and not really drag so i like to dab and press the product onto my skin Next, to set everything, I'm going to take my Fit Me Compact Powder and very lightly dust it all over my place and mostly under my eyes and wherever I place the concealer. So this is just going to set my base and give me that airbrush yet not cakey wala look. And because during pujas, many of us tend to perspire, it's hot, it's crowded, we're going to roam around. So setting your makeup is of utmost importance. Now for the eyes, I'm going to take the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette and taking that orange shade right out there and dusting off the excess, I'm going to start blending it onto my crease, taking a fluffy brush. Now this palette is so beautiful, like especially for the festivals, you guys, the colors are amazing, it's pigmented, so I absolutely had to go for this one. So I'm just going to very lightly dust the orange shade onto my crease and blow it out. Next, I'm going to take that dark brown shade from the palette and I'm going to focus it onto the outer corner and lower crease. Like basically, I'm actually trying to, you know, create like a contour to the eyes. It's going to give you that depth to the eyes and it's just going to look beautiful. So any, you can take any brown shade and just concentrate on the outer corner and whatever is left, just blend it with that first crease shade. Now taking a combination of those two shimmer shades, one is like a olive and one is like a gold, I'm going to place it onto my lid. Now for festive seasons, I like to go for a shimmery eyes and I also like to use my fingers for putting any sort of shimmer because that gives that ultimate shimmery glow. However, due to my long nails, I'm having a little bit of problem. Now taking a combination of the orange and brown, I'm going to start filling out my lower lash line. Now smoking out the lower lash line is my favorite thing like before I should not do it and after I started doing it I just understood how much of a difference it makes it just makes your eyes look beautiful now taking those two light white shades one is shimmer one is matte I'm going to place it onto my inner corners of my eyes and also my brow bone now this is going to highlight and also pop out your eyes so don't skip this step now for liner, I'm going to take the sugar liner and start drawing a wing on top of my eyes. Now for a Bengali makeup look, I feel like this is 
the key like this is essential like bengalis have that big wide uh, badami eyes and for that that wing is a must it looks so stunning that i like to draw a thick line on top of my eyes also i'm going to do my waterline with the nika kajal and i loved a nice cold eyes it looks so good you can see that right out there for oh, mascara i'm taking the two face better than sex mascara and i'm going to apply a thick coat onto my lashes now this is one of the best mascaras out there it gives you such a natural yet falsy sort of effect so this just makes a huge difference Now I'm just going to add some falsies off camera and I'll be back. Now moving on to contouring, I'm going to take the LA Colors Contour Palette and start putting it onto the hollows of my cheeks. Now this is such an affordable yet amazing bronzer. It gives such a nice warmth to your skin. And just make sure you blend it well. It does not look muddy or anything. So I'm just going to put some onto the hollows of my cheeks, blend it onto the hairline forehead and also to and also not forgetting the jawline because you don't want that double chin also i'm going to take a thinner brush and take some bronzer and start contouring my nose very lightly though and this does make your nose look slimmer and it gives like a structure to your nose i like doing this step now for blush i'm going to take the nyx sweet cheeks palette now this is such an amazing palette i'm going to take those two orangey neutral shades and start putting it onto the apple of my cheeks now i love blushing you guys like this is my favorite i love blushing or uh, uh no like this is my favorite step of makeup i love blush ons and um, I just like to do it very subtly yet it brings so much of warmth to my face also I like to take a little bit onto my nose because that makes the blush looks very seamless and cohesive Now for highlight I'm taking the K Beauty highlighter I'll leave the shade name written down on the description box and start putting it onto the highest point of my cheeks now this is a very subtle sort of a highlighter which you can build it up so you can use it during the day or night as you like it putting it onto the highest points of my cheek nose a little bit on the chin forehead and just glow it up love it Last but not least I'm going to take my pack micro fixing spray and spray it all over my face avoiding the eye area mostly and this is such a beautiful fixer it just fixes everything even your problems Now for lips I had to go with the classic red lip you guys for this look so I chose the MAC liquid lipstick in the shade Fashion Legacy it's such a beautiful popping red color so I'm just going to apply that and it looks amazing with this lal par shada shadi and to finish this look i have added a red bindi which looks amazing with this look and also added some jewelries a choker a chand wali earrings and also some bangles and that's it So that's the final look and if you guys like the look do hit the like button and also don't forget to hit the red subscribe button you guys that will mean a lot to me please 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 subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video till then happy pujas and take care you guys love you all